hello friends today in this tutorial we will be building a drag and drop multiple image upload application in javascript using file pond library so basically this is the application that we will be building here so here you can just select multiple files or a single file let me just show you the single file example so you can see that it is showing the image pro view and it is showing three image thumbnails this is the medium one this is large one and this is small one you can even upload multiple files here if I select multiple files here I am selecting three files here so you will see that three files are uploaded here and you can see that the preview are also generated so this is a cool little library that you can integrate in your application if you want to have drag and drop functionality so as I already told you this is a file pond library so if you go to Google here and if you search for file pond image upload javascript then you will find this library so first link will be i think is the github link you can see that this is the github link of this library and uh, you can always uh, download it onto your local machine or you can just use the cdn you can all also use this library in your node.js application but i will be showing you in this basic example how to use it in pure javascript so this is a single file that we need here guys you can see that index.html so just go to your working directory and create an index.html file and then we just need to uh, create a basic html document so inside this i will write my head tag so inside this i will give a title that is uh, drag and drop image upload in javascript after that we will be having the body and that's it so inside the body we will be having a single input tag here input input type is equal to file and that's it so this is the input field where we will be submitting files here if i just refresh it and uh, refresh the application you will see that only one choose file is there if i click it i will be selecting the files here so the first and the foremost thing guys we just need to include the file point css and javascript so this is the article that you can read here online i have given the link in the description it goes step by step instruction on how to use this library i will be using it so that is why i'm giving the link here so the first step is to include the css so just include the css right here at the top here so just after your title you can just include it so this is the library filepon.css that we are included here and also similarly you need to grab this script tag so this is the js cdn so after the body just paste it so now we have successfully grabbed the library here now we just need to write a script tag after this that's it so now we just need to initialize this library here so in order to initialize it we will be first of all be grabbing this input tag so for that i will be declaring an input element input element and then i will be using document.query selector to get the id that i have given here so inside this i will target it by the input tag so input type is equal to file so basically this is a selector that I am using here input type is equal to file here so put a semicolon here and now we just need to initialize the library on this input tag so for that I will be declaring a new variable pond and I will be writing here file pond which is the name of the library and calling the create function so inside this I will pass the input element that's it so now if you refresh it you will see a different picture altogether if i refresh it you will see that guys it has changed it has applied the css and javascript if i click browse here it will be opening in the same man manner if i select any kind of file here you will see that this is a loading animation it is getting here i can even delete this and now we just need to load the image so for loading the image we have different plugins out there inside file point so these plugins are very much important for the functionality of this plugin so you can see that adding plugins so we will be adding the image preview image resize and image transform plugins so this is again contained inside the cdn 
So first of all, I will be getting the image preview CSS uh, style sheet. So just copy this and paste it after you include the, this. So paste it here. And now I will be grabbing the JavaScript for all these plugins. So, so here you can just copy this and paste it before just before filepond.js so paste it here so these are the plugins here that we have included image preview.js image resize.js and image transform.js that's it so now if i refresh it let me see if any kind of change happens you will see that nothing is there we need to first of all initialize these plugins so for initializing it it is very easy guys so just before you use this plugin here filepond.create we just need to initialize it so i will just write initializing the plugins so here i will just create some space here that you can see that so i will write a very simple line which is a file pond and uh, there is a function which is register plugin so this is a function so inside this we just need to initialize our plugin so the first plugin name is uh, file pond dot uh, file pond plugin image preview so this is the first plugin and the second plugin is uh, file pond plugin image resize so you just need to write this like this it's the same way that i am writing here so this will initialize these three plugins and the third plugin is file pond plugin image transform that's it so after initializing these plugins you will see a change here guys so if i refresh this and uh, browse you can see that it is loading the file here so it has grabbed the image here and it has showed this image inside this it is showing the preview of the image so after loading these plugins we can just see the change here that has happened here so now we just need to uh, uh, specify the size of the preview so for specifying the size of the preview guys it is very easy you just have to add a property here wherever you are initializing it filepond.create so there is a second property it takes is the options that you can provide so inside this curly brackets you can just write your options so sorry this parentheses is not needed so let me just do it once again just the curly brackets put a comma and a curly bracket so inside this curly brackets we have options which is image resize target width so this is a property name so you just need to copy this same property and let me just initialize it to 256 pixels that's it and i will be now be adding a callback function when the image will be added so there is a callback for every function out there in this plugin so let me just have the callback when the image is added callback when the image is added so this is a callback let me just write here which is on add file so this is a callback function which will execute whenever there is a image added in the document so it takes two options first is the error and second is the actual file item so file item will contain the actual image which is uploaded so this is the arrow function so inside this i can just print on the console the if any kind of error take place error and also file item I will use here file item file item dot get metadata so this is a function it it is contained inside it get metadata and we will use this uh, resize property so basically this metadata will contain the width and the height of the image as you will see there let me just control save and refresh this and now if I go back to inspect element and go to console here so as I upload this image here let's suppose a image I upload so you will see that a message is popped up in the console here so you can see that no error has taken place it is showing me null here and the response is returned here JSON response so a mode is there cover 
is size is also there i you can see that height is 256 width is 256 because we have provided here the width of is 256 so this is a metadata which is contained uh, contained inside resize here and now there is a, another callback function which will be useful for displaying the image on the screen not as a preview so there is a, another callback function for uh, displaying the image on the screen image on the screen so this is a callback function which is on prepare file oh f is small guys so on prepare file and this is again a callback function first of all it contains the file item comma the output and this is again a arrow function uh, after that guys put a comma here because this is a response this is the option so put a comma here and then you just write your function so inside this callback function we just need to display our image so for displaying it first of all we will create a image object so the steps are very simple guys so first of all for displaying the image we are creating an image object for that we will be creating a new image variable which is img and uh, new image we will create an image class here and after that we will be manipulating the source attribute of the image image dot source and then we will be using the url class url dot create object url we will use this method and pass the output to it that's it after that we just need to add this on the dom so for that we have this method which is uh, document body dot append child this is a method we will use here append child and then we will pass the image element that we have created here that's it so this is a code which is required to display the image on the screen if i refresh this you will see that guys it will also display this image on the screen apart from the preview if i select this file here you will see that guys now it is displaying this image on the screen also uh, with the width is equal to 256 i can even change the width to let's suppose 500 to see if it is working or not 500 control s and now if you are refresh it you will see that guys it will be having the width 500 it is loading here so just wait image resize target width so you can see that guys it has displayed it and also in the response also width has changed to 500 and height has changed to 500 so you can see that the this is a very powerful plugin you can just have an input field asking for the width and the height and then you can just manipulate dynamically the width and the height of the image you can see that it has uh, displayed the image in a 500 pixel value so i will be just be again be uh, changing the width to 256 this is good and now we just need to guys uh, uh, added option here inside uh, after this we have this image resize mode this is the option we just need to uh, add this image resize mode so basically in the JSON response you have seen that there is a mode which is there here in the console let me just show you in the object there is a mode here resize mode which is initialized to cover i am just changing this mode to let's suppose there is a mode which is there inside this which is equal to let's suppose uh, contain so just change this to contain and uh, now if i save this you will see a considerable amount of difference between the two if i again browse the file select the file and it will upload it so you will see that guys it has uh, considerably reduce the size of the image which is mode is equal to contain so there is a cons considerable difference between the two modes which is there so first one was cover and this one is contain and now after this uh, we just need to have multiple thumbnails that we we want to display it first is a medium one and second will, will be the small one so for displaying the thumbnails we will be uh, adding a different property here so put a comma here 
and the property name will be guys image transform so we will we are using a transform plugin so we will be initializing this property which is image transform variance so just initialize this property and put a curly brackets and inside this first of all we, we will be initializing the medium thumbnail thumbnail medium transforms 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 and this is again an arrow function guys so so inside this first of all we will be providing the the width which will be equal to transforms dot resize dot size dot width is equal to 512 so you can initialize, initialize it to anything you want but for the medium thumbnail I am initializing it to 512 so this is the syntax by which you can do that transforms dot resize dot size dot width this is a medium one and for the small one put a comma here after that we will be initializing thumb uh, this time it will be small and transforms and this is again an arrow function guys so inside this we will be having our width to a smaller value let's suppose transforms dot resize dot size dot width is equal to this time 64 pixel you can just notice here we are not writing the value pixel we just want to write it as a constant here put a semicolon and the second property we need to write here which is return transforms that's it I forgot in the previous steps we just need to return it so in the in this medium also put a semicolon here and then the last step will be to return the transforms that's it so now if you save this guys it will be generating multiple uh, thumbnails multiple thumbnails of the image here so if I just uh, refresh the application uh, index dot uh, 70 on 70th line we have made a mistake here guys let me just see what is the mistake we have done let me just see mm. let me just see if I just again save it if it is having some kind of error unexpected token line 70 let me just see the example here guys so that uh, I am just making a error here so just just wait for a while this is image transform variants you can see that we are displaying two thumbnails medium and small one and let me just copy it transforms let me just copy this copy it and paste it here let me just paste it here mm, and just align the code here and now if I refresh it guys if I just refresh the application if I see any kind of change here so the code is correct guys so just go to this blog here if you want to have this code ready here so just go to this blog and uh, uh, get the code so this is we are generating two thumbnails here a colon was missing guys so that was the problem here you can see that a colon was there so that was the problem and uh, if I just again refresh this if I see two thumbnails let me just upload this image so you will see that guys fail to execute create object URL because we are now we now we are generating multiple thumbnails that is three thumbnails we are generating we need to just update our code inside this on prepare file because this output is not a one thumbnail this is an array of thumbnails so now we just need to update this code here so for this we just need to uh, inside let me just go to the article here so inside this article you will find that we just need to there's an error will come here you can see that no function was found so in order to counter this error we just need to update our files here this is the file we just need to update this to output files because this is an array now so we just need to change this to output files 
output files and as this is an array we just need to loop it through so we just need to write here a for for each loop so output files for each so inside this we will be writing our uh, first one let me take a output as a index variable and this is an arrow function so inside this curly brackets we will be writing our code here so we i will just surround these steps inside this loop here so just close this curly brackets and put a semicolon that's it so this is now a loop here so we are executing these instructions for every image now if i save this you will see that uh, it will display multiple thumbnails and if i upload this file let me just copy it this whole function here on prepare file and let me just so this is the code here guys so this is the array here so we are looping through this array for every image we are creating an image and manipulating the source attribute and then appending it to the body if i save this and uh, if I refresh the application on uh, line 67 there is error oh sorry guys put a comma here and uh, if I just save this once again control s save this and if I browse the files here let me have this file so you will see that guys it has uh, generated three thumbnails here this is the normal one and this is large one and this is a small one so i can also do it for multiple files here as i have already not added this multiple so just add this multiple tag here so this will allow me to add multiple files here or images let me just select multiple images So you will see that three images are simultaneously uploading here and it has generated these th uh, th three thumbnails of each image here. So in this way with the help of this file pond library you can just upload multiple images using drag and drop functionality. So thanks very much guys for watching this video.